because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. It's Derek here uh, with another video. I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about the easiest way to upgrade to HIDs in your Ford Focus. And this is mainly with uh, the 2012 and newer years. So 2012, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So. Uh, what cars have done, or car manufacturers have done, is that they have essentially made it really difficult for people like you and I to upgrade to HID head kit, HID kits. So, um, and if you don't know what an HID kit, obviously, well, if you're watching this video, you should know what a HID kit is. But it's it's basically just a high intense density um, headlight. So it's super bright, and if it's not directed in the proper way, it'll essentially blind people. Um, not really, but sort of. Um, but anyways, uh, what car manufacturers have done is they have a specific setting in the actual ECM, ECU or BCM or however you want to call it. Um, and they have that set to halogen or you know to have a specific output and if it's not detecting that output then it'll essentially it'll essentially give you a low beam fault or um, it'll say one of your headlights isn't working and shut it off completely um, so what I've seen in this specific car is that um, whenever I used to, whenever I was using ballast with the wiring harness and, you know, I use resistors too and had a bunch of issues and, um, whether, you know, one, one day it would work and the next day it wouldn't work. So a lot of issues with, you know, resistors not working or, you know, ballast not working and, uh, the bulbs not turning on. So I talked to, um, one of these guys, or a guy in um, the Chicago ST forum, and he basically said, all you need to get is this ELM 1327 and plug that into your OBD2 port and then reflash the BCM to say that you're using the alternative HID. And I went through this and it's a really simple process. All you need is that specific um, OBD2 um, adapter which is a 1390 or 1327 I believe and you basically flash it and it allows you to use halogen or um, HID an HID kit or whatever and you just need the ballast you don't need a resistor you don't need a res wiring kit or anything like that you just use the the ballast and the HID bulbs and then you plug that in and it's plug-and-play Really, really simple. Obviously, you should either do a retrofit or buy some projector headlights um, to make sure you're not blinding other people. Um, but this is a really easy fix for if you want to use uh, your HID kits with your Ford Focus. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other car manufacturers like BMW and stuff like that that have um, a flash that you can do to accept uh, HID kits. Um, but for this, it works for the Focus, works for the Focus ST, you know, hatch, sedan, whatever, um, it works for it. So um, in those settings, you also have um, different things like uh, turning off the shift light and also turning off, um, or sorry, um, turning on the uh, global windows up and down. So I just wanted to run a quick test with this after the uh, BCM is updated. So let's do unlock. And those open. And let's lock it.
I'm closed. Nice. Um, so that's something that is actually a pretty cool feature that I don't understand why it's not available or readily available in the US, but um, overseas, you know, in um, UK, Europe, Australia, and all those other places, they all have um, the global setting, global up and down windows um, set to on. So not sure why they don't have it for the US, but this is an easy way for you guys to actually accept that and turn that on for your focus. And yeah, so that's all. That's all I had to say about that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. Um, if you want a specific tutorial on how to actually do this, let me know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Oh,